What is going on guys? Thank you so much for jumping into this video today. My name is Danny Kobold, aka my music videos. And I have a Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you guys today that you are definitely going to love if you are involved in the secrets or hidden mysteries within the Rockstar titles that they have been bringing us, man. They are crazy when it comes to secrets, Easter eggs, and mysteries. We have a new discovery within the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. A new location, a new UFO foe and a new question and no new answers let's get right into it guys so many of you guys know about the ufo that spawns within rdr2 at this little cult shack or whatever you want to call it um you come here at two o'clock in the morning i think the moon has to be a half moon there is a lunar cycle within the game um and you will get this ufo to spawn above the shack and it has a green beam that comes down and basically uh, lights up the whole room and it's very similar to what we've seen within Rockstar's past title GTA 5. You can also find a note inside of this little shack that basically lets you know to come back here to see the UFO but if you look into the note a little bit closer it says when we will return for the new chosen and worship once again at the peak of Mount Shan. So it's letting us know to come back at Mount Shan. Now this is where I want to go ahead and shout out a viewer on my channel he sent me this information and it's really, really awesome. He was able to see a second UFO on Mount Sean. And I think this is absolutely epic. Great discovery. So a big shout out to user Capinology. He sent me this video clip as he posted it on his channel and it shows the proof that you can definitely see a UFO not only at the first location that we've already learned about, but now here on Mount Sean. The only thing is we don't know exactly what the criteria is. We don't know exactly what needs to be set in place for this to show up. I don't know if it has to be a half moon, just like we're looking on the screen right now. He does seem to have his moon match up with what the letter says. The letter does say a half moon, and it does say this location. So I'm not sure if just coming here at 2 o'clock in the morning will do it because when I showed up at 2 o'clock in the morning, I did not get a UFO to spawn. He did. As you can see right now, he's trying to get a better uh, view of this. There it is right there, guys. The UFO spawning on top of Mount Sean, and it's just hovering there. It's almost like it's doing a little bit of a recon mission for something bigger. I really do believe that there is definitely more to this. I don't know if there's other locations where UFOs spawn or if there's something even bigger and better when we have 100%. But right now, I could tell you what he did. So what he did was he went and checked out this location first. He read the mysterious sermon. He looked at the UFO spawn at nighttime. And then the very next day, he made his way over to Mount Sean and spotted the Easter egg again. A new UFO here on Mount Sean. And the only difference that I could see in his gameplay is it is raining. And that is one thing that we do know within Grand Theft Auto V is that raining or stormy weather is a big deal, especially uh, the time, like 3 a.m. So this game might have the same type of things, you know. Uh, raining weather might be a, a must or stormy weather, cloudy weather, foggy weather. That was also a big one that made be a Bigfoot spawn. But right now all we know is that he came from day one being at the UFO number one and then day two being at UFO number two, which is right here at Mount Sean. I went and tried to do it in my game. I wasn't able to spawn the UFO. Um, I was able to spawn the first UFO, but that was days and days previous within my game uh, compared to trying and attempting it at Mount Sean. So I'm not too sure how this is gonna work. Maybe all you need is to come back at a half moon uh, at 2 a.m. or so with stormy weather. That might be all we need. So there's a lot to investigate. Who knows what's going to happen when we get 100% and come to these locations. Who knows how many more UFO locations there are. There could be a whole string of these things. There might be a certain order that we have to go and check these things out at. The one thing I want to go ahead and mention is I noticed something right next to this location on the mountain. I noticed this weird stone structure not too far away from the location on the mountain where he seen the UFO and it is very weird. It almost seems like it could be some kind of like sundial. I'm really not too sure. If you look at it, I noticed that it's like a semicircle. We have basically 
a semicircle from here going around to there and this side of the circle is all made up with like these like long little logs right and then if you look at this side of the semicircle the other half of the circle it's all made up of stones circles so that's made out of sticks or lines and then the other half of the circle is made out of circles and in the middle we have just rays uh, coming out to every single point and the one thing I want to go ahead and mention is if you look closely at these rocks or the circles they have arrows inside of them so I'm not sure if this is some kind of visual direction for us to follow is there something out at these uh, you know exact coordinates if we take a straight line and follow these arrows out I'm not too sure this definitely reminds me of something that you would basically see on like ancient aliens, right? They talk about like Stonehenge and how could people put this stuff there uh, without having that kind of technology back then. It must be the aliens helping them. Well, this would fit perfectly into one of their episodes as the spot where he seen the alien UFO was right over on the other side of this mountaintop. So is this tied to this alien or UFO Easter egg? Is it something separate altogether? What are these arrows pointing out? I'm not too sure. Not only that though, right on the same mountaintop, I found two huge discoveries. I found Bigfoot's bones, and I also found a mural that is tied directly to the mural within GTA 5. And GTA 5 still has yet to be solved. When looking at that mural, it has been punned the GTA 5 Chilean mystery. If you guys want to check out all that information, I'll put the links to those videos in the description for this video. So you guys can check out those videos and let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys are able to get this UFO to spawn. Maybe all we need, like I said, is just stormy weather, a half moon, and the right time a night to be here, 2 o'clock or so, and bam, it might just show up. But we might have to do it like Kapunology did it and come here directly after uh, doing the first one. So seeing the first UFO and then the next day coming in checking out the second UFO. There is so many different factors. It is Rockstar Games. We know that time, uh, location, uh, day of the week, weather, all of that plays huge into what will spawn, what won't spawn. If you've activated cheats, that might not be good for you to ever see it. Um, if you guys have 100%, I don't know if anyone has it yet, but that might add a big twist on things. Who knows what's gonna happen? So much more uh, questions than answers at this point, but definitely wanted to get you guys the information. I've been streaming tons and tons and tons of RDR2 lately, so I wanna make sure to drop videos like this in between some of these broadcasts so it keeps all you mystery hunters up to date and it basically just consolidates all of the most you know suspicious and mysterious things that we can focus on and try to conquer and solve within the community in little tiny bite-sized portions for you throughout the different broadcasts I've been providing on my channel. So thank you guys so much for jumping into the broadcast and videos lately. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think. And one more final time, a big shout out to Kapunology for showing us this awesome Easter egg. I believe that these are all connected. There is so much stuff that is tying us back to the mystery within GTA 5 and there's so much stuff that just seems to be, you know, questionable. Why is it there? And I think it's all part of a bigger pisser, the Rockstar Games mystery found within Red Dead Redemption 2 so far. So it's going to take a community to solve this, a big one. So hopefully you guys are on board and helping out because this is going to be so awesome to try to piece together, guys. Thank you for your time, thank you for your support, thank you for jumping in, and if you guys haven't subscribed already, you might want to think about doing so so you don't miss any new updates or broadcasts or videos, and if you guys like the video, let me know by hitting that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video or broadcast. Until next time, take it easy, ta-ta, and as always, peace!